Have you heard about these terms? RYT 200, ERYT 500, RYS, YSEP, RPYS, RPYT. Don't worry. So today, this video is all about discussing these all terms in detail. Yoga teacher training refers to the educational process which is aimed at preparing individuals to become yoga instructor. Successful completion of this training leads to attainment of certificate as a qualified yoga teacher or yoga instructor. Now, the question comes, who provides this authority to provide certifications as a yoga teacher? There are very few organizations which provide these accreditations. The number one is Yoga Alliance in the United States, the British Wheel of Yoga in the United Kingdom, the European Union of Yoga in several countries in the Europe, and the YCB Yoga Certification Board in India. I think we deserve like. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates. So today, we'll discuss the details of Yoga Alliance. If you want to know other organizations and their accreditations and their details, please comment below and let me know. So now we'll go a little more deeper into what Yoga Alliance does and what are all those uh, terms which I have uh, spoken in the beginning of the video, okay? The Yoga Alliance organization has three main categories. The first one is called RYS, second one is called RYT and ERYT. We'll come to know what is ERYT later. And third one is YACP. Okay, let's go dive a little more deeper into every individual concept. The first one is called RYS, Registered Yoga School. The Yoga Alliance offers five school-based RYS credentials for yoga teacher training program of various lineages and styles of yoga. So this RYS is for the schools, right? For example, XYZ brands will have a yoga school and uh, they have some kind of, for example, you might have heard about um, Astanga Vinyasa Yoga 200 hours teacher training. And some school might have mentioned about Hatha Yoga 200 hours teacher training. So that means that school has got registered with RYS along with their lineage, Hatha or Vinyasa or Astanga or whatever the styles of yoga is, okay? So now in RPS, there are main three subcategories. The first one is called Fundamental Level Registered Yoga Schools. The second one is called Professional Level and third one is called Speciality Level. In the fundamental level comes RYS 200, which is very uh, essential and very fundamental where it includes a basic things but which is also very essential very uh, efficient um, program the second one is called rys 300 which is a little bit advanced level compared to 200 and what about rys 500 is nothing but a school which has rit rys 200 plus 300 together if any school has both of them that means it's called a registered yoga school 500 hours okay. third one is called Speciality level. In the speciality level, the school will be registered under registered children's yoga school, and then another one is called registered prenatal yoga school. All right, let's go a little more deeper into what is RYS 200 hours. So, 200 is nothing but 200 hours of core curriculum one has to learn in that particular school. Okay, and this 200 hours is again divided into four categories. The first one is called techniques, training, and practice. Second one is anatomy and physiology, yoga humanities, and professional essentials. So, in techniques, training, and practice, you can see all those asana, pranayama, meditation, and anatomy. You can see anatomy, physiology, biomechanics, yoga humanities, history, philosophy, ethics, and then so on. It goes on. So, it's very fundamental, but also very essential, very important, uh, which covers all these topics if the school is registered with Yoga Alliance, okay? So let's see, now the place is very beautiful, surrounded by a lush green, a village, we can get to experience about the lifestyle of the village in Goa, and also can go to the beach and have fun, okay? So we have uh, six dates coming up in this year and also coming year. So the first training starts on October 3rd, which goes until 30th, so basically, 28 days you have to stay in our school if you are choosing residential schools. So we also have non-residential. If you want to know more about, please do visit our website or you can just give us a call or just leave us a message. Uh, someone from our team will get in touch with you and give you all the details. So we're looking forward to hear from you. If you are interested, please do visit us. 
Okay, now let's go to the topic again. The second main category of yoga lens is called RYT and also ERYT. RYT means exped, uh, resist. The second main category is called RYT or ERYT. RYT and ERYT. All right, let's get back to the, the main topic. The second main category of yoga alliance is RYT and ERYT. Okay, RYT means registered yoga teacher. ERYT is nothing but experienced registered yoga teacher. When will a person get experienced? I'll come to know that in a very short while. So now, Yoga Alliance offers six teacher-based RYT credentials based on the successful completion of RYS curriculum. You understand what is RYS curriculum? The 200 hours RYS curriculum, which we have we have gone through just before this schedule, just before this slide. Okay, so one has to complete that, then only they become yes. So when when you complete the course uh, in RYS, you don't become registered yoga teacher. You have to go to the website of Yoga Alliance and you have to register yourself. There are certain conditions how to register, a very basic register, very basic um, uh, things which everybody can do it. You just go to the website and you just mention there that you want to register as a yoga teacher and uh, mention your school, mention your teachers, that's it. And your school has to approve that you have took a certificate training from the same school. Once the school approved, then you are kind of linked with my, uh, linked with registered yoga teacher and here also it comes three main categories one is fundamental level professional level and speciality level the same idea in fundamental level it's only there there's only one ryt 200 hours professional level it comes three the one is e ryt 200 second third one is ryt 500 hours and the fourth one is e ryt 500 hours in speciality i it goes to the children level children and also prenatal okay let's go a little more deeper now there's one more category before we go a little more deeper that is yacep yoga alliance continuing education program the yacp designation is designed for experts in the yoga community to set themselves apart and teach courses that qualify as continuing education hours for ryts so this yacp is only meant for erits so rits cannot become YACP because they have to get experience before they become YACP and they uh, once who have so once you have YACP you can start teaching any short-term course or say for example 50 hours of yoga nidra course or 100 hours of uh, yoga aerial yoga like that so on you can create your own program and start teaching your registered yoga teachers okay now who can become ERYT or how can become ERYT 200? Experienced registered yoga teacher. The training requir requirements are one must complete 200 hours TTC from the registered yoga school. And the teaching requirements are once you complete from the day of completion, from the day of you registered, from the day you completely, uh, from the day you have registered with the yoga alliance, from that day to until. Okay. How? should one become experienced registered yoga teacher there are two main things one is training requirements and teaching requirements the training requirements are one must complete 200 hours ttc from rys and must be registered with yoga alliance and second one is teaching requirements one has to minimum complete 1000 hours of teaching experience right after completing the 200 hours ttc you might get a doubt how can one know about whether I'm teaching from the day after completing TTC? That's a good question. Because if you have to become RYT, you have to register with our Yoga Alliance and the day what you mentioned there will be counted. From that day, you have to start your teaching experience. Okay, and then you have a duration of at least two years. Within two years, you can complete your thousand hours. So you have plenty of time. I Everybody can finish those hours and you can become ERYT 200. Once you have ER, ERYT 200, you have a lot of um, options. You can become YACP. You can also go and teach, be the faculty in RYS. Because uh, recently, Yoga Alliance has come up with a, um, new rules that every RYS must have ERYT teacher. So it's very important. Uh, once you become ERYT, you have a lot of options to explore yoga. You can can develop your uh, 
So once you become PRYT 200, you have a lot of options to teach yoga, explore yoga, and have deeper connection and have more community as well. The same idea goes with ERYT 500, but only thing is the requirements are one must complete 500 hours of TTC and the minimum requirements are 2000 hours and then at least four years of teaching experience from the date of TTC. So that's all about uh, Yoga Lens and all the details. I wish you got to know about something, but if you have any questions, any comments, anything, just feel free to let us know. We will come up. So one more thing, if you want to know how to uh, become a registered yoga school, there's a lengthy process which you have to go through. But if you would like to know, just let us know so that we can make a, a proper, clear video how, where, when should apply for RYS. All right. Thank you so much.